Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at creating this ice effect. So let's first of all check up on our project setup. So we've got 19, 20, 10, 80, 24 frames a second and a duration of eight seconds. So the first thing I want to do is to import the asset called Dirty Glass. Bring that in. I'm going to make this group 3D. I'm going to apply to the Dirty Glass filters color levels. And then let's reduce its brightness a lot like so. And then perhaps on the gamma like that just so we flattened it off a little bit more. Maybe even reduce that brightness down a little bit more as well. Okay, so then I also want to just increase the scale of this glass to 150%. Next, I want to come up and make another group, a new group, and into it, I'm going to put my text. So I'm going to select the text tool. I'm going to type under the ice, come over to format, uh, so I'm, I'm using this font called Kenzo, which is rather nice. I'm going to select all the text, center align it, have a size of 480, a line spacing of negative 75. And I'm going to come over and reset the transform and set the Z position to negative 250. I actually want this group not to be 3D. That's why the text has disappeared. Okay, then I'm going to come to the text appearance, uh, face color, and I just want to make this a little bit sort of shiny blue, not too much, something like that, and maybe just reduce its brightness down a little bit until we've got something like this. And then I also want to add to this text layer an image mask. So right click, add image mask. And I'm going to use the dirty glass as the mask source. And I'm going to switch to luminance. And I need to switch the dirty glass back on again. And because my text is now a little bit faint, I'm going to select the image mask and I'm going to come to filters color levels. And then I'm just going to adjust the white level. So bring that way down like that till the text is a lot more legible like so. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another new group. So object new group. This one I want to be 3D. It's automatically made it 3D. And I'm going to drag that text group inside of it. And into this group here, I'm going to add object generators clouds. Then I'm going to come over to its blending, set the opacity to 75% and the blend mode, I'm going to come all the way down here and select stencil luma. And what that's doing is it's kind of giving us this patchiness on the, on the text. And let's just come back to the clouds generator and just sort of reduce its speed down to 0.2. So I've renamed these groups. This one here is called text and this one here is called BG for background. That's the background there. So now I'm going to make yet another new group. So object new group. This one wants to be 2D. And into this group, I'm going to bring in generators, caustics. So I'm going to set the size to something like 0.28 and the speed I want to be zero. And I'm going to turn the refraction up to 200. Then I'm going to duplicate this caustics, right click duplicate. I'm going to set the blend mode of this layer to add. And I also want to rotate it through 180 degrees like so. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time, right click duplicate. And the difference with this one is I'm going to set the size down to 0.14. So this group that I've just made, I've called Refraction Map. And I can in fact close it down and hide it. And we're going to be using it to create that kind of ice effect over the overall scene. And this is the kind of key to the operation. So then I'm going to select this text group here and I'm going to come to Filters and 
distortion and refraction. And I'm going to use the refraction map group as the source for the height map. I'm going to set the softness here to up to one and then I'm going to duplicate the refraction. So right click duplicate. I'm going to set the softness of this new one to 0.5 and the refraction I'm going to crank up to 150. And then I'm going to duplicate the refraction one more time. Right click duplicate. This time I'm going to set the softness to 0 0.05. So effectively virtually no softness at all and increase the refraction to 200%. And now I think you can very clearly see how we've got that really nice cracked ice effect over the text. So now it's time to add a camera. So object camera. I'm going to set the angle of view to 60 to give us a slightly more dramatic result. Let's come over and adjust its position. So I'm going to go for 20 on X, 45 on Y, and negative 300 on Z. And the rotation, let's open that up. I'm going to have 25 on X, so we're looking up, 15 on Y, so we're looking across a bit like that, and zero on Z. And I'm just gonna turn off the 3D overlays so they're not confusing things too much. Then what I can do is I can add a behaviors basic motion throw, and let's open up the throw velocity, and I'm going to have negative 10 for x, 12 for y, and for the z, I'm going to have negative 10. And then we get this push in, like so. So we also need to add now a light, so add object light. I'm going to set its intensity to 75%, and it's fall off to 2%. And then we just need to set its position here. So negative 400 for X, 300 for Y, and 400 for Z. And then let's come to the first frame and let's keyframe all of that. Let's come to the last frame and adjust these values. So positive 100 for X, negative 100 for Y, and we can leave the Z as it is. So I think what, what I didn't quite fix correctly is the uh, levels control on the image mask for the text. So we actually need it to be even more solid like so. And perhaps even if we come into our clouds, which is creating this patchiness, maybe we can just make a bit of an adjustment there. And then we come into the the black value there. So maybe come make it and make it kind of mid gray like that. And that looks looking a bit better now. And what I'm also going to do is add a couple of extra lights or other three extra lights. So add object light. And I'm going to set the intensity to 200%. I'm going to set the fall off way up to like 35. And then I'm going to turn on the 3D overlays. Just going to position this, I think probably sort of down here somewhere. And then I'm going to apply to the intensity, add parameter behavior, wriggle, uh, set the mode to add and subtract. Let's have 50% and no noisiness. And that's just going to create this sort of little undulating patch down there. It's going to be quite subtle, but um, we're also going to duplicate it. So right click duplicate. And this one, let's move it up to say, somewhere like this. And then we just need to click on the random seed button a couple of times to make sure it's oscillating in a different fashion. And then we can right click duplicate. This one we can move over and down to here just to fill out this area a little bit. So now we've got something that looks like that. And just that little bit of movement there sort of I think helps. So finally, what I want to do is to have a couple of moments where the ice sort of shifts and cracks. And to do that, we can come into our refraction map group. So close everything else up, make it a bit tidier. 
I'm going to select the first core sticks here. And I'm going to come to roughly sort of two seconds on the timeline like that. And I'm going to keyframe the refraction. Now I'm going to set this value to 150. And I'm going to step forward one, two, three, four frames maybe. And set that to 175. And then we could come forward, I don't know, four and a half seconds, roughly like that. Keyframe it, step forward one, two, three, four and set this refraction value up to 200. And now you see we've got that little shift there and another crack there. And we could do the same thing with the other layers, just a little bit of offset to that. So let's come to, I don't know, there I am at 215. Set a keyframe. I'm gonna set that to 100. Then step forward, one, two, three, four. Set that up to one, two, five, and then maybe come to, I don't know, six seconds. This is all really random. Uh, set another keyframe, step forward one, two, three, four, and set that up to 150. And hopefully those together will, so you've got crack, crack, and then crack, crack probably enough you don't want to overdo that but, but I think that's, those will help you know add some sound effects to that it's going to be pretty cool so anyway that's the project I hope that's been an interesting one thanks very much indeed for watching see you again soon mm -hmm.